I used to think that AI would never take our jobs. I was wrong. As a data scientist, AI hasn't replaced me, but it has completely changed the way that I work and is moving faster than anyone ever expected. These days, AI is integrated into almost every part of my workflow. From debugging SQL queries to updating production code and even making end-to-end -end presentations, AI has become a supercharged junior analyst on my team. I truly believe that we are in a crucial transitional phase. Those who adopt AI early will ride the wave together, whereas others risk being left behind, and it is not too late to start today. In this video, I will show you exactly how I use AI to work smarter and not harder, and why getting comfortable with it now is essential if you want to stay ahead in data and remain employable. As of September 2025, AI does not do my job for me, it doesn't understand the rationale behind why decisions were made, or the nuances of messy real-world data, but what it does really well is taking care of the boring repetitive tasks and freeing me up to focus on analysis and insights that actually impact decisions and move the needle. I'm sure that many of us jumped on the ChatGPT train when it first came out in late 2022. Honestly, it feels like there was a world before ChatGPT and a very different world after. But over the past couple of years, more and more models have started popping up. Claude, Gemini, Llama, and before I knew it, I had way too many tabs open just to figure out which tool was best for what. And that's when I came across Chat LLM by Abacus AI, who are kindly sponsoring today's video. For just $10 a month, I get access to all the top models in one place. When you first log in, the interface feels really familiar. You've got a clean chat box, your projects and history on the left, and all the models right there to choose from. And if you're not sure which to choose from, just use root LLM. It automatically picks the best one for your use case. Now let's go through some of my biggest use cases of AI in my everyday work. The main one would probably be generating and optimizing Python, SQL, and LookML queries. I simply describe what I want in natural language and it drafts the code for me. It's not perfect, but it is a solid starting point that I can iterate on without the need to memorize all the different syntax. Moving on, debugging coding errors. All I do is paste in my error message and I wait for the fix. This is such a huge time saver when I'm on a time crunch, although I am pretty conscious that I don't lose the ability to think critically. Next would be Google Sheets formulas. Now my company works a lot in Google Sheets and I know this one sounds pretty small, but it is a lifesaver. I describe what I want, for example, VLOOKUPs, and it writes the formula perfectly. Now moving on, one often overlooked part of data science is working with non-technical stakeholders. Whether it's documenting experiment results in Confluence, summarizing analysis outputs, or simplifying a technical concept, I will usually draft it with AI first, and then I run it through Chat LLM's Humanizer. This rewrites the text, so it reads like I wrote it myself, which makes a big difference in credibility and saves me at least 30 minutes every day polishing reports and summaries. I also use AI to create visuals and diagrams, something that I used to think was only for designers. Now, ChatGPT isn't great at generating diagrams, and normally you would need additional subscriptions to tools like Midjourney, but this is all included within our $10 subscription to Chat LLM, which is so awesome. I have personally been using them for simple visuals like experimentation results or presentation diagrams. Now this is a surprisingly powerful bonus and it makes insights so much easier to understand. From my perspective, the real game changer in Chat LLM is Deep Agent. Think of this as your AI super assistant. It doesn't just answer questions, it actually builds things for you. Apps, websites, presentations, all from a single prompt. It works step by step, asking smart follow-up questions, planning what needs to be done, and then executing the task end to end. As an example, I asked it to create a dashboard for my YouTube analytics, and within minutes, it spun up a fully functioning site. Now this is next level AI, going beyond conversation to actual creation. And all these features are available within Chat LLM for just $10 a month. And honestly, it has changed the way that I work. The final way that I use AI as a data scientist is through Cursor, an AI-powered IDE similar to VS Code. In the past, the traditional data science modeling process would take months of a data scientist's full capacity. Now I just describe what I want in plain English and Cursor will generate me SQL scripts or Python queries instantly. 
Cursor gets even more powerful with MCP servers and in our specific use case, it's for DBT workflows, where it can act as a data bot for any ad hoc queries. It essentially reads your DBT artifacts and understands table relationships and metadata. And the Cursor MCP will build the query, run it, and give me a ready to use answer, often in the time it takes me to make a cup of coffee. I am personally still very new to this workflow and learning new things every day, but even at this stage, I have noticed a huge spike up in my efficiency. And this kind of speed is game changing, especially when you're trying to iterate and build something quickly. If you work in data and you are curious about AI, my advice for you is to start experimenting now. Don't wait, don't be scared of it. The sooner you get comfortable with using AI, the faster you'll be able to work smarter and not harder. A big thank you to Chad LLM by Abacus AI for sponsoring today's video. I will have them linked in my description box below and I highly recommend you checking them out. As always, take care, stay safe, and I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.